Good morning, folks. Belgium set to restart a troubled nuclear plant. We are not amused. I was told that heavy pollution in Iran is a usual thing, and I believe that, but thousands of dead from pollution cannot be normal. This is a good article describing a binary star's close approach to a planetary system, what would and would not happen. China has joined the party breaking cold records along with India, Russia, and Europe for the second year in a row. Blue-green algae found in Northland, New Zealand, just west of that most of Australia is in a fire warning, literally almost everywhere. Even lightning strikes in the storm zones this evening could raise the danger. Atlantic air headed northeast, but cold Arctic air is sucked southeast of that. This is occurring between the pressure systems and is about to bring major cold to the north and eastern parts of Europe. It's the type of thing that caused all those deaths last year. Counterclockwise low up north sucking air in from an outward clockwise push of the air from the high pressure system. You can see that the air is racing away from Indiana and Kentucky with the north side flying into the low. Here are the rest of the world's watch zones for this evening. The cosmic ray density is falling, probably caused by the increased magnetism of the more robust solar wind the last couple of days, perhaps the sunspot number of 186 as well. Earth facing quiet update, we just had our biggest flare since the M1 but it came from the departing region way up north. This was born facing Earth, beta gamma delta but no flaring still it starts to leave. One more blast will confirm this characterization. We already have one confirmed quiet region in 2013. Now before these turned into view, they popped off nicely sized ejecta and flares, but since facing Earth, we've seen nothing but decay. Behind this, you see another candidate turning in. This one produced our M flare and certainly has the size and magnetic complexity that is requisite for large flares. Do or die time sunspots now that you're facing the Earth, and the same for you down south. That's very nice, buddy, but go ahead and do something or put away your scary face. For those who have forgotten, Earth doesn't want to see an X-20 or an X-50 or a kill shot, but Earth facing quiet is not good. Our atmosphere collapsed way too much during the last minimum, and we aren't getting the other half of the equilibrium expanding us back out. It's just one variable. Dark coronal holes both directly facing Earth and swinging in on the south. Plasma filaments are mid-sized at best, and if the sun decides to fire, there's already one in the chamber. Expecting coronal hole and CME impacts tomorrow? Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.